Hey guys and welcome to another video. My name is Jim Pastor Matsis and today we'll be talking about the pros and cons of living in Greece. I very recently did a video on pros and cons of living in Bulgaria given that I've been here for six and a half years. So make sure to check that out after the video. Okay, before we get started, make sure to also hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell and hit the like button as well helps me out tremendously and motivates me to keep producing these videos. And guys, we have a goal of hitting 100 subscribers within the next few days, so make sure to subscribe and help me out, okay? I'm gonna try to start with pros, but there are positives that have negatives attached to them and vice versa, so I might mix it up a little bit. Greece has so much history, so much culture, amazing food, great people. I mean, these are just some of the highlights, right? Obviously, Greece has a super long coastline, so anywhere you are in Greece, uh, you're not gonna have any difficulty accessing, you know, the beach and, you know, the Mediterranean Sea, so that's amazing. I love that about Greece, so, you know, I come from a small northeastern city in Greece, it's called Drama, it's about 40,000 or so residents in the city and, you know, 100,000 or so in the state, so, you know, it's pretty small place but I always love the fact that I could just take the car and drive for what is it less than an hour and I'm at the beach that's great right that's awesome I'm considered to be pretty inland right for for Greece but anyways so that's that's great I love that I love that I have uh, that small distance from uh, from the city uh, to the beach right so that's great the Greek people are super super accommodating I love the service that I'm able to get in Greece I love the fact that people speak English and of course that is a factor of the fact that look Greece is a very touristy place so you know lots of tourists come from all over the world companies have made very very sure that staff in general speak English so they can accommodate everybody that comes from all, all over the world I mean we're talking about a very touristy place even my my city drama has really really improved over the last three to four years basically every winter drama organizes an event called the dreamland and you know basically transforms the center to this awesome place that all these people go and you know and visit there's like great food and like all sorts of events and popular singers come that's it's just it's it's a great place to be now the last couple of years with COVID, it hasn't been so uh, and that's very unfortunate in general drama has been improving basically almost right after i left so they were waiting they were like hey look Jim left guys we can get to work and like you know do everything and like open up great shops and you know open up new restaurants and do everything and yeah you know I was there for almost what 18 years well not almost I was there for 18 years and uh, yeah I I love the fact that there's like so much new development uh, there was like no new construction and I hated that and now there's like new buildings going uh, going up left and right so I love that I love the fact that Greece has very 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 heartwarming and very welcoming people Greece has no lack of beautiful destinations from going to the amazing islands that we have we spent about 10 days in Zakynthos this summer it was fantastic we loved it there great great destination highly highly recommended from all the islands you can go to you have Thessaloniki you have Athens you have a bunch of different places in Greece where you can visit and really really enjoy it another positive that I find is the food is amazing I'm pretty spoiled given that my mom is a chef but generally speaking the food is great so you know from restaurants like our local food is great we we have lots of traditional Greek food that's amazing I love that obviously fish I'm, I'm big on fish I love fish and you know we have very very tasty dishes with fish so that's that's great if you're a vegan or vegetarian I'm pretty sure you're gonna have a very very easy time in Greece given that our menus are very vegan vegetarian uh, friendly well the taxes in Greece have been crazy they have been very high and I don't mean to talk about that just yet but I think Greece has been realizing over the last few years that in order to start welcoming talent, the welcoming people to the country to actually reside and stay and invest, they need to start working on, on the taxes. We have seen over the last couple of years, Greece has introduced different special tax regimes and flat taxes that you can pay. I'm not really gonna get into deep detail about, hey, look, what exactly, uh, what's what, but uh, they're trying to attract retirees and business people uh, who make a lot of money and you, they can pay or invest in certain assets and have much lower taxes. 
taxes. I think that's good in general that Greece is progressing and going that way given that the ideology was very very different over the last basically decade that hey look you know we want to have high taxes we want to have free healthcare and have all those things but they saw that talent was leaving the country not not coming right so they had to do something to reverse that. The cost of living is not generally bad but given that the wages are very low and people don't pay a lot of money, uh, I mean, look, Greece has been in crisis since 2008, and you know, I, I can I can partially understand why uh, some business owners are not able to afford to pay a bunch. But at the same time, given that wages are low and you know taxes are high, lots of people end up living, and you know that's that's obviously terrible. You end up losing, for example, doctors and and people like this, and you know, obviously business people. People. There's there's good talent and good business people that are leaving and coming over to other countries just because it's not bearable there and it's not related necessarily with the cost of living. When it comes to the cost of living, it can be unbearable if you're trying to work a couple of jobs just so you can barely leave. In my opinion, you need to, to be paid at least a thousand to a thousand two hundred euros in order to live a good life. What do I mean by this? A lot of people might comment and say, thousand euros, twelve hundred euros, what are you talking about? Like, you know, we can make it with seven hundred, eight hundred euros. I don't think that's the point, right? The point is not for you to barely or just exactly make ends meet. I think the point is for you to be able to live a dignified life to where you're able to say, hey, listen, you know, if I want to go out with my friends, I should be able to, I should be able to pay for my rent and live in a decent place and pay for my utilities, have some money in the bank as well. I'm not saying with 1200 euros a month that you're necessarily going to do all that and like be like super happy, but I think that you need to be making at least that much so you can live a decent life in Greece. I was talking about the high taxes. Taxes in Greece are insanely, insanely high. They're not made for the average small business owner to be able to thrive. That's just terrible, right? It's, it's the main reason why I left Greece uh, six and a half years ago and came here to Bulgaria. There's just no competition between the two. Obviously here, we're talking about a 10% corporate income tax and 5% on dividend distributions. In Greece, the highest income bracket can be taxed all the way up to 60%. Obviously, there's, there's no comparison between the two. Business owners were just you know flooding out of, uh, of Greece. They're, they were rushing out of Greece and trying to go anywhere where it makes sense and they can you know keep their money. Generally, the, the fact that the taxes are so high, that cascades down to a bunch of different other things. So, you know, from groceries being more expensive to gas being more expensive to a bunch of things just being significantly more expensive. If you couple that with the fact that the wages are low, that makes for a pretty challenging economy. And this is why the average Greek is struggling, right? Because they need to deal with, with all of that at the same time and they don't really have a lot of choice. And this is why a lot of people are leaving Greece and going to other places. So, so that's very unfortunate. It's why I'm not in Greece and I'm here. I mean, of course, there's other reasons as well, but this is a very significant reason why I've left. I'm gonna talk about something that probably will get me in hot water, maybe not, but uh, the fact that the military is mandatory for absolutely everything everybody, in my opinion, is a negative. What do I mean by this? Now, I'm not gonna get in a debate about whether mandatory military is good or not. I think that's something I should probably keep for another video. But the fact that somebody may build a career and do very well in life, and then having to have that uh, on top of their head, I think is a big negative, that there's not a simple way out for uh, people that can demonstrate that, hey, look, I have a business of a very, you know, very good size. Hey, look, you know, I have, 50 people on staff, 100 people, 300 people, 500 people in staff that are depending on me. I can't just like go to the military for nine months or whatever the minimum is now, 12 months or something like that. So that's impossible, right? And so th and that's, that's something that used to stress me out quite a lot. When I turned the age of 18, this was like the number one thing that I was thinking about. At the time, I was making some very good money. I was like on my way up in the world in terms of like business and so on. I was thinking, hey, look, I've been building all this and I really need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the military. I had to force myself to sign up to a university here in Bulgaria and study something just so I can push back the military time. I think that's like a huge negative. They need to figure something out for people that have built careers and are actually trying to do something with their lives so the military doesn't become disruptive in that way. The education system, again, it's yet again another system that is very, in my opinion, poorly designed and 
a reason why a lot of people are getting out of Greece and to other countries to study. I feel like the education system focuses a lot on making sure that it, like it judges people on the final exams way too much way too much it's like why a bunch of like greek students are having mental breakdowns during that period when you're giving the final exams in high school because the final grades that you end up getting will unlock doors to what universities you can go and if you end up performing poorly then you either need to compromise and go to a school that you don't like or you can try again next year. Either way, uh, the way that, it, that, that the system is designed is definitely not good and a bunch of people are leaving Greece and going, for example, again, Bulgaria is gaining quite a lot of students because of that and people are going to the private universities here Education and generally here in the private universities is quite decent. I wish we had these options in Greece. So a lot of people would just stay in Greece and that capital would then go to Greece and not to other governments. Something people ask me about quite often about Greece is, hey, look, is it a clean place and things like this? And I think that very much depends on like where. In my city, for example, the city of Drama, it's decent. I wouldn't say it's like out of the world. There's like places and parts that are very, very dirty. With that said, I have found that the last few years that drama has been becoming a lot more beautiful. They have been taking care of that a lot more. If we talk about Athens and Thessaloniki, I would basically say the same tale. It really depends on where you are, but it's nothing like Sofia, for example. Sofia is like super dirty. It's relatively clean, but at the same time, I would say that, um, yeah, it can definitely, it can definitely be better. It's nothing crazy. This is something personal to me, but I hate the fact that uh, stores are closing in the afternoons and you know Sundays they're not working and certain days of the week they, they close too early. Stuff like that I very strongly dislike. I don't know if I've been spoiled with other countries of the world where things are like open every single day. I very strongly dislike that. It's one of those things that uh, freaking bothers me. Every time I go to Greece and I have to think about that, I, I hate it. Whereas when I'm in Bulgaria, when I'm in Dubai, when I'm in like some of these other places, I don't have to think about that. If I need something, I'll go get it. I don't have to think about whether shops are open. There definitely is a refugee homelessness uh, problem in Greece, especially Athens. I don't have something specific to suggest here with like, hey, solutions wise and so on. I think that would be a very, very long conversation. It's definitely something that I have noticed. So when you go to Athens and a few times that I've been to Athens, depending on where you are, there are places that have become even kind of unsafe because of how many refugees and how like, you know, it, I don't mean to say that re refugees equals unsafe, but there is increased violence in some of these streets and some of these places. Um, and yeah, that's, that's not good. Something I dislike with the fact that I co-run an immigration business is the fact that the citizenship path in Greece is not very reliable or not reliable at all. I know people that have been in Greece for decades, married to Greek people, have children who are considered Greek and they're still having trouble getting the citizenship. Though in, on paper, it's seven years of residence in Greece. A lot of people are having trouble getting the citizenship. That's, that, in my opinion, a big problem. Greece has to figure out what to do to welcome people, not push them away. And that's like from every perspective, whether it's taxes and businesses, whether it's the education system and keeping the young people in in the country not letting them flood out or giving the chance to people that have been in the country probably have no criminal record are law-abiding citizens and pay taxes and so on to get the citizenship a lot easier i think these are very very important things and of course i think that goes hand to hand with the fact that taxes in greece are very high the entrepreneur community that um, in in my observation is very small and that's something obviously that I dislike, given the fact that I love uh, connecting with uh, you know local entrepreneurs. And I mean, they don't have to be local. I mean, lots of people obviously fly in Greece and you know uh, go to Greece temporarily. But generally, the entrepreneur community is quite small, in my opinion. I don't know how long I've been going for, so I think I'll leave it at that. Greece is a super beautiful place to be. It's on most people's bucket list. The beaches are some of the best in the world. The food is some of the best in the world, in my opinion. And I've traveled 
traveled all over the world. I don't know if it's uh, if it has anything to do with the fact that I'm Greek and I'm like spoiled with the food, but I absolutely love the food in Greece. Probably some of my favorite in the world or my favorite in the world. The people are amazing. There are just certain things that the Greek government can do in general so it can attract people and not push them away. There are things that they're doing or actually not doing that pushes people away. That's very, very unfortunate. But I really hope that uh, they start improving on that and yeah, uh, people can start coming back to Greece opposed to uh, living every year. That's it guys. Thanks a lot for sticking around. Let me know what your thoughts are. You know, did I miss some pros or cons? Uh, do you like Greece? Do you dislike Greece? As a resident, right? Not as a tourist. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about it. Make sure guys to hit the subscribe button. It helps a ton. I'm trying to get to 100 subscribers as soon as possible. So your help is very, very much appreciated. Yeah guys, I will see you on the next video.